fastest growing web series on the internet. Boys in the Woods. Yeah, boy. We put the real in reality. Welcome back, everybody. It's Tuesday morning. Monday, we let it dry out a little bit. So Tuesday, we're going to get over here and we're going to cut the pallet trees that we had left from the original bin. Got a little muddy on us and cropped us out. So now we're back over here. What I really like for it to miss that, but what are you going to do? Pretty good sized hickories. How is coming across? Muddy. Muddy? Hard stuff and threw a bunch of rocks in my tracks before I crossed it. Oh yeah. Some of them flat rocks. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know if the ground can hold up. So I gotta go too many more times in one spot. So we're gonna see what we can do without tearing up too much ground. Like we always do, push these tops together. Clean up on aisle four. Old deer stand in this double right here. So there's probably gonna be wire or nails or something in there. But we think we can get enough that we can butt it off. So all these tops I put around this tree that I got cut. So I cut me a hole where I can stand, but I, I can't run away from it. So I just gotta hope for the best right here. It is uphill, it is gonna go away from me. I wanna get as far away as I can. Ow! Throwed a bunch of sticks at me out of that brush pile. Woo! It's always exciting when you're still alive. So like he said, it's muddy, so we're gonna push these across and we're gonna get them out later. There's a grizzly bear. Oh, that's dusty. It's a dodo bird. I was racing him to the truck for peanut butter and jelly. So as we move down, he'll just keep poking them across in different spots. So that way it doesn't get too soft and muddy in one place. It. I'm not gonna hinge it. Okay. Pretty good pecan double right here. You say pecan or pecan? Let me know in the comments. So we're done on the other side. Now all we gotta do is get all these logs out. Ground's holding up pretty good, surprisingly. So he'll drag these out, 
and then he'll back all the way down there so he's not turning around in the field too much. Doesn't have to turn around when he gets back there. Saves time, doesn't tear up as much. But you can see it's starting to get soft where he's been running. So Wednesday morning, we're gonna run the pre-hauler over there and pre-haul all the logs out that we got drug out from the day before. Now Dusty's gonna go down here and he's gonna skid out where he's pushed them in different piles across the creek. Well, a lot of people asking about that little saw. Yeah, I think on there. I noticed you weren't Didn't using it, it yeah. so uh, that was about all I needed to know. Uh, it, it's alright. It don't have enough, does it? Yeah, it does. Well, you'd be using it. It does. You'd be using it. it ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a pretty good little saw. I don't mind it too much. He's going to start pre-hauling out while I buck up. And pile them next to the road where Gary can get them. So now there's one more tree that was in the original bed that we had to leave because it was too muddy. We're going to go after it right now. The creek don't have much of a bottom. He's able to push himself up. Pretty good little walnut here on the bank. See, it pulls that root apart as it falls down there. But for the most part, that usually rips off the root, not off the tree. Wasn't a whole lot of room there. But we got it and we're getting it back out there by the road. It's Gary has some logs haul in the morning. Sure enough, when we get there, Gary's already loaded. So it was starting to get a little muddy there. So we're gonna move down the road to Marshall. It ain't very far. And then when we get done with that, we can move back and get our logs there. And Gary's gonna haul these back to the farm. Did you see that tractor knife in in anhydrous? Yeah. That guy wants us to look at his timber too. So I talked to him a couple weeks back at Casey's. Because I recognize him and he called me. So before we left Gillum, the skitter was having trouble shifting. And we couldn't figure it out, but it got in gear. So we loaded it and when we got over there, it was doing it again. So we finally hunt down a part and it was all the way in Sedalia. And we're yeah. running out of day at this point. If you just had fatter fingers. No, sausage fest. Put it in reverse. Hey, 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 Went boy. into gear. Woo, woo. So now we 
just throw it back together, get it off the trailer, and try to get something done before the sun goes down. Pretty long straight sycamores in here. We was able to get some work done despite Skitter trying to hold us back. Dusty and Uncle John are getting the pre-hauler. And so I'm here at the job. Gonna fuel this up. If I can get this untangled! Then I'm gonna cut them logs up. So I'll mark these up real quick. And then, uh, would you know it, I got hung up right off the bat, the very first one. It seems like it's always the first one or the last one. Or the ones in the middle. Or the ones before that. Ugh. But anyway, so you could take a wedge and you can drive it down in here. Down towards the bottom where you're pinched at and open that gap up you can get your cut saw them, out. Cut up, push them up, and we'll go we'll cut some trees. So I'll get these shoved up in a pile. Those guys should be showing up with a pre-hauler here pretty quick. And here comes Dusty. Oh, and he's always got something to say, I'm sure. Where am Uncle I? John, too. What'd you say, boy? You got them all cut out? No. How about good job on what you did, bud? You did real good, Bat. Made sure we're ready to go, Bat. No problem. Oh, we like to have a good time. You make the most of it, it makes the day a lot better. So Uncle John's gonna load those up, and me and Dusty's gonna get to cutting. Then we had a problem with a skitter. Oil pressure line blowed on it. So it took a little bit Are to get that fixed, but we're ready to work yet? now. Maybe. <laughs> oh God, don't say that. Got all the bolts in. Got the. Oh, you didn't pick these fittings up. Oh. I got them. Oh boy. Got the oh boy. Here we go. Got pressure. Got pressure. All right, we got oil pressure and we're ready to go. I'm sure he's proud of this mess I left him while he was messing with that. in here. A lot of these sycamore. Check that out. So this one's leaned out over the field. That way. Gonna put it right on that top. So we want to push it back this way. So I've got everything ready. I've got my hinge set. Now I'm just releasing the back. I see it set down a little bit. I know he'll be able to push it. Nice, we kept it out of the field. He lines up his shot. So I like to imagine this is what golf is like. but I don't know. Thank you guys for following the page. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the follow button. Ring that notification bell and you'll get notified anytime we put up some new content. But I promise, I'm not gonna bombard your notifications. You probably get three or four posts a week. 
It should be enjoyable. So we had a pretty good week. We had a few setbacks, but we was able to get through it. It looks like next week's going to be pretty good, too. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it so much. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Your support's been tremendous. Most of all, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.